Remember the Cheers theme song? Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Well, there's a place in northern Kentucky that checks those lyric boxes. It is a place where everybody knows your name. Check. Where they're always glad you came. Check. And it's stayed open against COVID odds to help others, all while it's gotten a hand up from its community. Bonus check. It's why it is this week's Positively Cincinnati. Good food and the comfort of being able to stay a while with folks you know have made Pee Wee's Place a popular Crescent Springs spot for years. Are you ready? So perhaps it's not surprising it found ways to stay afloat through this pandemic. Every day for 2020 was a different surprise. To try to do whatever it took to keep employees busy to where they can make a living. Serving as one of those islands where you can take a break from your worries and even help others through theirs. Just ask owner Tim Reese. That's Pee Wee to his friends, and you get the feeling he has quite a few. When one of them called to say the sisters at the nearby St. Walberg Monastery were sick with COVID and could use some meals, Pee Wee took the mission to his men's prayer group. Just trying to make something fun for the sisters. Their entire life they spend praying for people like us. And this is the first time we really ever had the opportunity to do something for them. The guys got the word out and help poured in from far. I had them from Ohio, Indiana, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Texas, Illinois, Florida and Michigan. And near, of course. When you take a look at the envelopes the donations came in, you see how grassroots the love has been. This envelope simply says Pee Wee Sister Meals. You look at a few more. And this one says donation to help defray the cost of feeding the nuns at St. Walberg. It added up to about 12,000 bucks, making for many meals from Pee Wee's. Yeah, he takes food to all the nuns and uh, yeah, and I just think it's a really nice thing that he does for the community. Did that make you want to help his place more? Yes. So the brothers Noe, along with their dad David, got busy for the restaurant, taking to heart its motto to make someone else's day better. In a community made closer because of Pee Wee's place, they raised more than $800 for staffers there who hadn't seen as much business during the pandemic. Then the Noe's took their gift to Pee Wee. And they hand me this, which is, it's not a Hallmark special, but it's a lot more... <laughs> means a lot more to you than what Hallmark does. The homemade card thanked the bar and grill for being that place where everybody knows your name and then some. I think it's a very great, great place to eat food and hang out with your friends. Call it a quest to keep good stuff alive. And boy, did it make server Kimberly Plummer smile. Definitely helped me. I mean, we depend on, you know, the restaurant being open and tips and, um, it was generous. It was very generous. Proof that as the Cheers song says, making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Well, girls, you have a wonderful day. And the best of that is heart. I guess Northern Kentucky is just a special place. <laughs> it most definitely is. Shout out to Charlie and Matt Noe's school, St. Joe's in Crescent Springs. The boys say what they've learned there and at home, of course, put them on the path to help Pee Wees. And check this out. It's something we don't get to see much reaction to this story. David Noe got this video of his sons leaping off the sofa after their TV time at 530 today. There it goes. 